uh, the news, the media in the last couple of weeks, are atheists kind of um, more, I don't want to say belligerent, but more ravenous, but certainly more upfront attacks on, on Christianity, on faith. And, and in particular, um, the billboard that the American Atheists put up in New Jersey. And I don't know if we have a picture of it. Do we have a picture of that? Uh, billboard? Maybe not. But it is, if we, we can show it sometime, it would be great. Um, but I think you can check it online if people who are watching, you can go to it online. It, has, it shows the picture of the Nativity mm -hmm. and the Star of Bethlehem and the Three Wise Men and you know, all the imagery of the Nativity. And it says, uh, you know it's a myth, um, uh, <laughs> celebrate reason this season. And uh, I have to say also that the Catholic League put up a counterpunch sign on the other side of the uh, of New Jersey Highway. On the New York side, it says, you know, it's real this season, celebrate Jesus. Mm. But, but I'm just going to start off asking um, Dave the question, like, why, why did you put up that sign? Well, first of all, thanks again for having me on the show. The, most polls show that there are about 50 million atheists in this country. But at American Atheists, we believe that the number is actually much higher and that the pews of the churches are filled with atheists, filled with people who deep down know it's a myth, people who deep down know that they're getting on their knees and praying to something that isn't there. The You Know It's a Myth campaign is all about reaching out to people who deep down know that they're praying to air and getting them out of the churches, getting them out into the streets, and getting them out of the closet of atheism to their family, to their friends, to their coworkers, and to the community at large. It's a communication to them that the atheist community, specifically the atheist community in New York and New Jersey, is large and thriving and here for them. But, but my question though, why, why be offensive to Christians using their symbols? We're not being offensive to Christians. But, okay? but are We're you not... the judge of what's offensive to somebody? You know what? If, if we are the, not the judge of being offensive, then we can be offended at anything. Okay? I have been told that it is offensive for me to say I'm an atheist. That's their problem. Mm -hmm. If I'm saying the truth, if I'm expressing what I know, that's somebody else's problem if they take offense to it. If I say that Christianity is not the first or the fifth or the tenth religion to put their God's birth at the winter solstice, that's the truth. Now, if somebody takes offense at that, that is their problem. Okay, I want to get, uh, either one of you can go, Marsha, either or Dr. Uh, Alex, you can go first. Well, um, the, the billboard that says you know it's a myth um, is either willingly or unwillingly, uh, it ignores mounds of evidence. I mean, the, the birth, the life, the death, the resurrection of Jesus Christ is one of the most documented facts of ancient history. We have early testimony, eyewitness testimony, multiple attestation, hostile testimony, Greek, Roman, and Jewish. Uh, and C.S. Lewis said this, if Jesus didn't exist and didn't die and rise from the grave, we have an even larger conundrum, the conversion of the whole world by a myth. And so um, it's very misleading to say that it's a myth because it's not. And in fact, the, um, the other supposed dying and rising Savior gods came after. There's not one documented example of a um, Messiah figure that died and rose again for the sins of people prior to Jesus. They come to two to three hundred years after that. But um, our Krishna, school, Christ, Osiris, Zeus, uh, uh, yeah, there are lots si of them. Similar but not same. Let me let me really read you something similar. that let me read you yes. something that I, I you mentioned C.S. Lewis and, and I happened to pull up a by, uh, thing from C.S. Lewis that talked exactly about the idea of comparing pagan myth stories to the Christian gospel and said that um, you know this is his view says that man himself must undergo some sort of death if he would truly live, talking about the similarities of the idea of agriculture, of the death of the seed and, and then life, um, of other, you know, the, 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 the idea of winter to spring. These are very similar kinds of um, metaphors that exist in the world. It says there is already um, a likeness permitted by God to that truth on which all depends. So there's, he's saying is that there is a truth in the world that points to an ultimate truth of death and resurrection. Go ahead, you know, On the issue of, of whether God exists or not, I mean, I, and I've heard debates about this, you know, from uh, Denise D'Souza and, and Peter Singer, for example, and you, I don't think you're ever going to resolve, I don't think I'm going to be able to sit here and convince you that God exists. I don't think you're going to be able to sit here and convince me that he doesn't. Correct. And that was such a reasoned uh, conversation right there, and I admire the reasonableness of it. But just getting back to the offensiveness of the campaign, mm -hmm. just as a Christian and as a mother, I would say it is absolutely offensive. Why, why, why do, not you personally, but why the need to try to tear down someone's faith? Why put up a billboard saying it's a myth? 
Uh, I don't understand the negativity. You can believe what you want to believe, and you have that right, and we have a right to believe what we believe. Um, as a mother, if my children were younger and we were going through the Lincoln Tunnel and they saw that, now it could be a good talking point and a way to increase their faith and all that stuff. Nonetheless, society does that anyway, tears down faith. It's hard raising faithful children in the world today, as I'm sure many of you know. So why, why put a, a billboard, which I will just say explicitly, is offensive. I don't see the point of it, other than it's just negative. Marsha, like I said, saying the truth, if you think that it's offensive for us to express our views, this is your problem. I will, however, confront you on something. There are, in New Jersey, hundreds, and in the world, in the country, thousands of billboards that are offensive to atheists. But see, you thousands. could say, you could put no, a no, billboard No, 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 wait a now I've got to talk, okay? Oh, well, please, uh, atheists, what are, what? Uh, atheists are, are going to hell. Atheists are going to burn. Uh, atheists hate America. Atheists are unpatriotic. Where, atheists where are, are traitors. Billboards? I've never I seen a billboard seen like that. Go down the New Jersey Turnpike. Right there on the New Jersey Turnpike, you can see them. And nobody seems to care about they offend us. And I'll tell you why. Because it's not important that they offend us. We're not the target market. Everybody has the right to say their piece. If you had put up a billboard and said, we atheists don't believe in God, I wouldn't find that offensive. But to put up a nativity scene and say it's a myth, that I find offensive. Would you also say that it's reasonably to t reasonable to take offense to get a billboard that says, why do atheists hate America? Is that an offensive billboard? I haven't seen those billboards. But so if one existed? Uh, I, I, I don't know. What about atheists will burn in hell? Then, Nobody seems to care uh, about these, and, and uh, these this, horrible, this. offensive, and we put up one statement, and we're not saying anything bad about Christians. Then, we're saying, say, no wait a minute, Christian, no we're saying Christian Christianity is that's a myth. Those, oh, but Christians put up the billboards, that's an incorrect statement. Uh, Lots of Christians want that. Lots no, of Christians no. put up, pool money together to put up billboards like that. I'm a Christian, and Christians. I want to buy your lunch. Well, I'm going to let you buy me something? lunch, and that's all right. Okay. Not all Christians are bad, and I'm not saying that at all. Let Elisa talk. Yes, if God doesn't exist... I don't see why you have to make so much effort proving something doesn't exist. I think if you think it's tantamount to the tooth fairy and other myths, yes. I think you should put a big sign that says, don't believe in the tooth fairy. And instead of pulling people out of pews, pull little children out of bed and, you know, let them not believe in the tooth fairy anymore. Why are you targeting just on God? The why truth not is, the, the separation of church and state is not threatened by the tooth fairy. The separation of church and state is not threatened really by the Easter Bunny. The separation of church and state is severely threatened by the fact that so many atheists are masquerading as Christians. So many atheists are masquerading but as I wonder, Jews. But the, the thing about it is, is that, you know, I've talked to several sources about that very point you're making, that so, so many atheists are masquerading as Christians or, or, or whatever faith. Um, and they don't find those numbers. You know, every study I've looked at don't find those yes. numbers. And I don't know, I mean, you can look at the Pew, the Trinity studies. Uh, basically, they cite 15 percent right. are nons, which is mean they don't have an established religion. And then of those 15 percent, a smaller percentage of those are actually bona fide atheists. Now, if you're talking about people who have doubts, who don't always believe that God is there for them, that's another issue altogether. That's not a bona fide atheist. If you don't have a doubt, you're a liar. I mean, I don't think right. that anybody who believes anything that can't be proven empirically is saying, I don't have doubts. I mean, I think that's the point of faith. Your faith is based on um, your belief that there is no God, is, is a belief about God that you cannot prove or disprove. And there is no, and I'm just saying, I'm going to say one last yes, thing, yes, too, yes. is that, you know, and I'm going to ask you a question, you know, what is your proof that okay. if there is a God, that he would leave you empirical proof of his existence. But what would what would be sufficient? What would be sufficient proof? Okay, there's two questions here. What would be sufficient proof is an excellent answer to both questions. My question to you to answer your first question is, would you be sure there is no Santa Claus? Are you sure there's no Zeus? Are you sure there's, there is and no and this is evidence, a question it's rhetorical. I'm, I'm saying is that there is no historical evidence for Santa Claus or for Zeus. If you want to believe in Santa Claus, that's another issue. A lot of people believe in Santa but Claus, and a lot of people fought and died and sang in Jesus songs Christ. for Zeus. That's a very different kind of Oh, event. I totally disagree. And to answer your question, in order for me to believe, I'm going to ask you a question. Okay. What would it take for you to believe in Zeus? What would it take for you to change your ideas of, of the universe and believe in Thor? and believe in But you don't believe anything. in any of those, do you? That's correct. But he asked me what it would take me to believe in but God. But you're equating, you're equating those elements with um, 
a god, we're, we're a god, and I don't think that's the same thing. I'm equating religion and mythology. They are synonymous. They are the same well, thing. Well, but in your opinion, though. No, they are the same thing, no, and I am open to hear the difference. By what do you judge it? That's the thing. Is Give that me you're, an idea. You're setting your own criteria and then judging everything against that criteria. If you go back in time and you talk to a Greek mythologist, somebody who believes in Zeus, who sacrifices God, goats to the gods, he's going to tell you, first of all, that he's not a believer in a mythology. He's a believer of a real bona fide religion. He's absolutely sure. Zeus exists. He has got a personal relationship with Zeus. No, He's no, talked no. to they Zeus. Never, yes. Never, never in the. Okay. Never Please. In the we are going to take. Hold synonyms. those thoughts. I want everybody to be quiet.